Hi, I'm Ryan from Foxtech, and today I'm going to show you how to enable custom fonts on your iPad. If you're looking to add a personal touch to your documents, presentations, or creative projects, being able to use custom fonts can make a big difference. I'll walk you through the process, and by the end of this video, you'll know exactly how to get new fonts up and running on your iPad. The first step is to download a font management app from the App Store. Apps like iFont or AnyFont are great options, and they're specifically designed to help you install custom fonts on your device. Once you've downloaded the app, go ahead and open it. Inside the app, you'll be able to browse through various fonts or import fonts that you've found elsewhere. After selecting the fonts you want, the next step is to install them on your iPad. The app will guide you through this process, which usually involves creating a font profile. To do this, you'll need to go to your iPad's settings, where you'll find an option to install profile. Follow the on-screen instructions, and when prompted, confirm the installation by entering your passcode. Once the fonts are installed, you're ready to start using them. Open any app that supports custom fonts, like Pages or Microsoft Word. When you go to the font menu within the app, you should see the new fonts you've just installed. Select the one you want, and you're all set to start using your custom font in your document or project. And that's all there is to it. Enabling custom fonts on your iPad is a simple process, but it opens up a lot of creative possibilities. Whether you're working on a professional document or just want to make your notes look a little more interesting, custom fonts can help you achieve the style you're looking for. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and tutorials. See you later.